When we shake cocktails, we are not only adding dilution and chilling the mixture inside, we are also aerating the cocktail and transforming its texture, which makes our customers want to consume them. But depending on the style of drink, there are different ways to approach shaking. For many cocktails, we standard shake. We shake the ingredients with ice and combine everything together, chill, dilute, and add texture, as we can see with the likes of Cosmopolitans and Daiquiris. For cocktails that are served in highballs with a soda or a mixer, we use a technique called short shaking, where we only shake with one ice cube. This is because the soda will do a lot of our diluting for us, so we only want to chill the ingredients quickly and not over dilute the flavours. This creates a chilled down, effervescent highball that is still vibrant in flavour. For cocktails that are served over crushed ice, we use a technique called whip shake. This is where we add a small amount of crushed ice and in a whipping motion, shake until the ice is dissolved. This is commonly used for the likes of Mai Tais or grasshoppers. Lastly, when we add egg whites to cocktails, we are adding volume to the drink and creating a different texture. Therefore, we dry shake the ingredients, which is the shake without ice. This helps emulsify the liquid and add volume. Be careful when doing so, as without ice, there is no airlock, so this Boston tins can become apart easily. After we have done a dry shake, we add ice, and shake again to chill down the liquid and further create a somewhat creamy, high volume texture in the likes of whiskey sours or Ramos gin fizzes. Many stirred drinks are predominantly spirit forward sipping drinks if we look at the likes of martinis or old fashions. But depending on what style, we should change how we stir. For old fashioned and Negroni style drinks, we are serving over ice. So when we finish our stirring, it should be slightly under diluted. The reason for this is because we are serving it over ice, so after a couple of minutes, the ice in the glass will add further dilution. To do this, it is vital to keep tasting your drink, and through time and training your palate, you will be able to tell when the cocktail is at the right stage to pour into your glass. You will easily be able to tell if the drink is over diluted, as it will begin to lose its roundness of flavour and taste weak. For martinis or Manhattans, on the other hand, we serve this style of cocktail at the correct dilution rate. This is because they are served straight up so no further dilution will occur in the glass. A general rule of thumb is to stir over quality ice for 30 seconds and taste. Does it taste too strong? Keep stirring. Is it perfectly balanced? Then serve straight up. Just be careful, if the quality of ice is poor, it will significantly change the amount of time required for stirring as it will dilute far quicker. Another technique we see is throwing. This is somewhere in between a shake and a stir in terms of dilution rate that is added to the contents of your tin. Predominantly used for drinks that we incorporate herbs into as we don't want to bruise them and give off overly pungent aromas, but can also be used for drinks that have overly viscous liquids in them that we want to thin out, for example, tomato juice in a Bloody Mary. So there you are. The technique is the refinement of many little tasks that when learned and eventually perfected will help you form your own personal bartender style.